So the best, best mission ever, um, Vanuatu Port Vila mission. I was there December 2015 um, throughout this July 2017. And so Vanuatu, it consists of three different countries. So you have Vanuatu, which the missionaries are expected to learn Bisama, um, their native tongue, Bisama, and then um, the people they speak, the Nivans, you call them as Nivans, they can speak French as well, but their main language is Bisama. Um, in the Solomon Islands, they speak Pidgin, and only elders serve there. Um, and then we have New Caledonia missionaries. The elders and sisters are expected to speak French there. And so here in, like once in a while, you'll hear missionaries coming from New Caledonia moving to um, Vanuatu, some Vanuatu elders moving to Solomon Islands. Um, but never have I heard a, a Vanuatu missionary go to uh, New Caledonia. And so the church there in New Caledonia, I know that they have one stake, I believe. Uh, Vanuatu, they have uh, one stake as well. Um, I'm not too sure about the Solomon Islands. So the nearest temple to Vanuatu is the Fiji temple. So when you want to prepare the members to, you know, have a temple marriage, that would be the temple they would go into. Um, I know a few that went to the Tongan uh, temple um, because of the Fiji one was, you know, closed for renovation or um, something like that. Vanuatu, with the churches, like every Sunday you'll hear all the bells ringing and that's like all different churches. And so what I know is uh, the Presbyterian Church being like their um, mother church in a way. So you'll find a lot of uh, Presbyterian members there, um, Seven Day Adventists, um, just all these kinds of churches. And it's very common for them to um, kind of um, build uh, their own churches there uh, regarding to their faith. Their faith is very strong in Christ. Um, once in a while you'll find people who um, are not sure who really that is, but everyone is Christian pretty much. So yeah, so I served on one island for a year and five months and there it's under the mission because it's a district. And so our mission president is, you know, handling a lot of the meetings and district conferences. Um, with that, they, they need a lot of guidance um, to run the church there because it's very, it's as a baby over there. And so when I first got there, I'm in this, you know, I come from, um, from Utah where there are beautiful buildings, um, beautiful chapel buildings, and the church is pretty organized. And then I was sent out to this small island where the church is not very well, very well organized. Um, even though they have the desire to, you know, try their best to strengthen it, they, they are unsure of how to. And so my first area, we were in, um, I don't know how to ex say it in English, but um, like Natangara leaves, Natangara leaves, um, kind of, I guess you would see it as like a hut or like coconut leaves. And so um, it was just out in the open on our branch president's uh, yard. So where his wife's garden was, that's where they put his, the church there. And so we were expected to teach a lot. The missionaries were expected um, to do a lot for the church, for the members, because they were unsure of how to do it. And even if they did know how to, they were very um, shy to stand in front of everyone and speak. and because Vanuatu people, they're very, um, yeah, they're very shy in a way. Um, you ask them some questions, sometimes it'll take them a while to just branch out and speak freely with you. So yeah, we, had a, we ran into uh, a lot of um, teaching lessons and all, but later on we noticed that wasn't helping them in a way, that wasn't helping them at all grow. And so um, what we were expected to do from my mission president was to kind of um, sit back and just support them with their callings. So that's something to think about as well as rather than doing it for themselves, um, just support them, guide them, let them know what they can do, answer questions if maybe the class is quiet, so yeah, things like that. 
So the missionary work there is a lot different from what you hear of missions here in the U.S. Um, emailing can be um, very inconvenient in a way, um, being that they're limited to some uh, computers. At least on the first island that I served on for a year and five months, we were very limited, but we had so many missionaries there, and so um, you just have to be very mindful of others. Um, so Vanuatu, there, there's one stake. There's one stake there. Um, and when my mission president first got there, that's when it um, kind of built there. Um, there are a lot of, there are two districts, I believe. Or no, there has to be more. There has to be probably, yeah, there's probably more than that. But um, where sisters are serving, they'll either be in a district or a stake. So there are two, only two islands where they can serve on. And the elders, they have uh, more chance of going to other islands where there are districts as well, like Ambai or um, Tana. Yeah, so there, there'll be districts there. Um, a lot of branches, so a lot of branch presidents. When I first got there, I didn't know what branch president was, what a district was, so it was cool to learn of those things of the church. So the missionary work, when you first get there, you're learning the language. Um, they are very nice to you, and so they'll, they'll even help you with that. Um, so that's something um, that can comfort you if you do get called to Vanuatu. Don't worry about too many people picking on you because the language is pretty easy to pick up. Um, being, it's called Bislama, and that's kind of like a pigeon, being like a broken English in a way. Um, so... Yeah, they'll help you a lot with that. I served in, on the island of Espiritu Santo. I was born in Shogran area. Then I moved to Saragata, and that's the town. Um, then I went to um, Second Canal, which name was changed to Sharpie. And then, yeah, three areas in that island. And then I moved to uh, Efate, Port Vila, where Port Vila is, and that's the capital and I was serving in um, Erequa Lagoon. So I had a good chance of, you know, knowing a lot of people, probably everyone on the island, 